Hello, welcome back. So today we're going to be going out, we're going to be catching a fish, and we're going to be doing a pollock catch and cook. Now, out of this little estuary, the conditions were absolutely terrible. They were extremely windy, so I didn't actually get any filming done. I didn't film the catch of the fish. However, I have filmed the whole cooking process of it, so I'll let you guys enjoy that. This is just a little launching clip. And on or soon, within the week, I think I'll have another video uploaded, hopefully where we can catch more fish and actually film it. Okay, so we're gonna start um, just under the fin, and you're just gonna make a cut straight down like this. And uh, now I think you just go back along the spine. I'm no expert at this, this is my first time ever filleting a fish. I might go and get a sharper knife, this knife doesn't seem great. I hope I've got a good angle for you guys, this is this camera's just on a chest mount so we'll see. Let's try and get all that meat. Yeah, this knife's not very sharp. I've left some of the meat there. So I'm gonna go... Probably gonna go and get a sharper knife to cut the rest of this off. But for now, I'll try and just... Chop it all the way down to the tail. There we go. So... <laughs> that's not a brilliant fillet. But it's alright. Um, I'll try and get the rest of this meat off. Because I think there's still some meat on here. So I'm going to go and get a sharper knife, and then I'm going to come back. And I think also you're meant to... You're supposed to scrape the scales off? I'm not sure. Anyway, we'll get a sharper knife, then we'll be back. So we're going to see if we can salvage any more meat off this. Not the best at doing this, but uh, we've got a sharper knife. That's always good. These bones are quite sharp down here. There's actually a lot more meat on the back than I thought. Okay, we got some little chunks of meat, not much. Now let's try the other side. Okay, so we're gonna go down. Like that. And then... Straight back. I'm gonna try and get closer to the spine this time and get as much meat off as I can. I'm no chef, but I don't think this is too bad. Okay, there we go. Oh, poor fish. Well, that's what's left of the fish. Maybe we can use this as bait sometime. Put it in a chum bag or something like that. Anyway, so now I'm just going to get rid of um, these bits that we don't want. These nasty bones and things. Dang, the fish is quite slippery. I'm just going to cut this last bit off here. Hang on, is this... Yeah, okay, sorry, I just thought it might not have been filming. Okay, so I think this is still perfectly fine meat to eat. Like, I've got scales all over my hands. Uh, I don't want these little bones, I'm not sure how to get them out. But, I'm gonna try and get uh, this po little part of the spine off. Because that's pretty annoying. Oh, there you go. Hang on, that kind of works. I'm 
Okay. Alright, good. Got those bones off. Now we'll try this next bit. Oh, it's really hard to, like, hold down. I'm gonna have to... Okay, that's it. So, um, while I'm doing this fairly soon, we're gonna be going out again, and I, I, as you see, I don't have much footage. I don't have any footage of actually where we were fishing, but, um, and this was caught on just little silver, they were like little silver, um, almost like tin foil. They weren't tin foil, um, but my dad just got a bunch of packs of these. Uh, my dad caught this fish. I didn't. I wasn't doing any trawling at the time. But uh, yeah, it was bad conditions. So on Wednesday, we're gonna go out and do it again. These are the two fillets. Uh, they're actually decent sized fillets. I don't know how much more meat I can get off there. I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, those are the scraps. Those are the fillets. I'm gonna go inside, wash them, and then I'll cook them up. Okay, so. For this you're going to need your fillets, some plain flour seasoned with salt and pepper, an egg like slightly beaten, it doesn't need to be like omelette beaten but just slightly, and then some breadcrumbs. You also need a small frying pan with some oil. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these into little like nugget goujon shapes. I'll probably stop and then come back and show you guys when it's done. So now that I've cut them all up into little chunks, I'm going to preheat my um, pan and then I'm going to get them. I'm just going to roll them in the flour a little bit. Just not not too much, just, cause, just so the fish is kind of covered. Put them in here, make them sticky, put them in the egg. And then get all this gunk off. And then roll them in the breadcrumbs and now I'll put them in the frying pan so the first one's gonna go in the frying pan there we go that's one now I'll just repeat the process for all of them it's quite satisfying doing this although it's pretty sticky with all the egg Okay, so I'm just actually gonna probably just wait till uh, the oil's hot and just put them on the side there. But anyway, I'm gonna come back when this is all done. So once you've got them all covered, you just want to put them in the frying pan like this. It's really satisfying when they sizzle. Whoa, okay. up some space. Oh that that already smells really nice. Ooh. And there's quite a lot of them. Okay. Well, I'll let them cook. Okay, so most of them are done, or at least the little ones, so I'm gonna put them on the plate. They look good, and they smell good. I'm gonna have to watch for bones when I'm eating them. Cause there'll probably be quite a few. That one's a little bit burnt there. I knew I should have flipped them over. Yeah, that one got broken. Okay, well they're all on the plate now. They look quite good, I'll see how people think they taste. Right, I'll taste it. Mm -hmm. mm. What 
Watch, watch for bones. Yeah. That is pretty good. That is good, yeah. Ooh, Burgess. Don't double dip. I don't think... No. Okay, well thanks for watching. And there you have it, a pullet catch and cook.